with a yo-ho-ho, -ho, it's Taylor the Toaster, and I've just got a complete set of Ban Presto blue lock figures, a whole six of them. So let's look inside that box and get them out. It, I cannot undersell the size of this box. It goes up to here like, that. this is my leg for scale. This is a gigantic box, but we're gonna tackle it. How well can we see it now? It's been flipped over relatively well. This box is not entirely filled with blue lock figures, but uh, at least half or possibly a bit more will be. So I'm just gonna open boxes and hope that they're the right ones because I also have another video unboxing some Inazuma 11 merchandise, which is what this channel is mostly about if you just came here for blue lock, but I do have plenty of blue lock videos on my channel as well. I've got at least three, this one's number four. I'm a huge fan of the series ever since the anime started airing, but apart from some manga, I don't have any merchandise whatsoever. So it is time to change that and go from basically zero to 60 in a matter of minutes. And here we have the first lot. All right. Within the bubble wrap, I can see two figures right here. We have Itoshi Rin and Chigiri Hyoma. So let's just have a look inside these boxes and see what a band presto figure for Blue Lock looks like. These are the main line of figures that are going around at the moment, I would say. There's also a line uh, called Q Posket, which is a lot more chibi-fied, um, but I was definitely wanting to get the more uh, realistically proportioned character models out of this. So here we go. Which one do we want to open first out of Chigiri and Rin? Let's have a look at Rin. So this should be pre-assembled inside the box, I would imagine. This is very much an overkill knife for opening such a small amount of sellotape. But it does have a Japanese written on it though, and these figures have come from Japan, so that's the justification. Uh, oh, there's, there's more to deal with. All of these, of course, have the, the character's signature colour on the side, which corresponds to their manga cover and a lot of their uh, splash screens in the anime. But here we go. So he's mostly assembled at the moment. Very lax pose from him. We've got a stand, we've got a thing to attach him to the stand, and we've got Rin himself. So let's just destroy it a little bit off screen the main man himself bit of a weird character to open the video on the main like rival driving force of the second half of the show but here he is I'll focus on the leg there look at that smug expression he can't be bothered being in this video itoshi rin in his number 10 kit of course he uh, he deserves it we've got the whole like you could definitely not stand this up without the stand. What's the natural pose actually meant to be? Ah, I see. It's kind of he's leaning into a kick. That will kind of uh, present itself a bit more once I've attached him. So let us do that right now. We'll stick that into the side of his knee. Uh, don't worry about it. Make sure I've got this the right way around. Ah, so there is there is a specific angle, a right and a wrong way. So in it goes. He'll be a lot better at football with that coming out of his leg, right? It's a it's a stability feature, yes. Let's put that in here and let's just do that off screen. Here we go. And now Itoshi Rin can support himself and score endless goals for he is the most talented at doing so in the whole thing. Can we get a focus on his face once again? That is a mighty looking figure for my very first bit of Blue Lock merchandise that's not just a manga. But while we're unboxing Chigiri, how and why do I have so many Blue Lock figures? Surely, surely this must have cost hundreds, right, to get six whole Blue Lock figures. I was saying that this is a complete set and it was at the time of ordering it. I just haven't been able to film this video for... Uh, a good few months because I've been in Australia and Italy, including San Marino. So in that time, they uh, Banpresto have actually released another two um, 
figures. Oh, this one comes with a football. That makes sense. They are footballers after all. Yep, get the ball in there. Um, there are two new ones that won't be in this video, which is Baro Shoei and uh, Kunigami Renske. Those figures were not released at the time of me doing the order about two months ago. Uh, they arrived nice and quickly. It was just me who wasn't available. So now there's two new figures, but you know what? It is what it is. This is still a complete set for Wave 1. But where, where I was mainly building to that from is... Where did I get them from? If you are familiar with this channel, you will know that I have worked in the past with a lovely company called Baiyi. And they are a Japanese proxy service which lets you order all kinds of merchandise items from Japan, such as Chigiri Hyoma right here. He is looking agitated for Blue Lock Nathan Swift. We've got the real Nathan Swift in the background there, so... Uh, Chigiri can can run off and have a little fight with him. He's it's a lot larger actually when uh, when I stand them up. I don't know where I'm gonna have room for this. They'll be about the height when he's in his natural running pose. Um, but yeah, I made a few videos with Baiyi in the past for Inazuma Eleven merchandise, where I just kind of showed that you can use the website to buy from any. Japanese retailer online like Yahoo Shopping or Amazon or some of the ones that you may not have heard of if you haven't ordered from Japan before but Mercury and Rakuten are two of my favorite online retailers ever and I pretty much buy through them exclusively with Baiyi because if you buy one item from a Japanese store A you probably won't be able to read <laughs> what you're buying because it'll all be in Japanese but also the more you buy the more uh, individual times you're gonna have to be paying shipping on an item so the advantage of getting all six blue lock figures from uh, Baiyi is that I was able to buy them all separately or these two came as a pair and then I can get them shipped out all at once and that is why I have a fully assembled Shigeru Hyoma figure that looks marvelous let's push him down a little bit more before he falls that ball is just like attached to the base. I can't actually move that and get them to play football or anything like this. But that is a fantastic looking figure. A whole load of detail. It's completely proportionate. I did. I never got any Q poskets um, because I'm just not too much into the uh, chibi style. I prefer ones like these. And thankfully, Ban Presto has got me covered. So they're all standing somewhere right now, but I'm going to have to move them because it's time to find the next box. We have a successful box containing Isagi Yoichi, the main character who apparently is leaning into the green aesthetic, which is uh, the least apparent of the colours in the show, but he definitely has it more in the manga. And we've got Meguru Bachira right here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to open Bachira first. Because uh, Rin is that uh, not Rin? Uh, Isagi is probably my favourite character in the series, despite being the main character. I don't often lean into that, but uh, we, I think the bagger, uh, the Bachira one looks particularly nice with the yellow everywhere. And this is also a figure that I was actually able to find in the UK High Street without having to buy from Japan. This was kind of the inspiration for the whole video. But uh, I've already mentioned that Baiyi lets you buy from any Japanese retailer and get them shipped to you all in one. I haven't necessarily mentioned the price difference, but to give you a genuinely practical example, let me cut from the right place here first before I just unwieldily use this knife wrong. Yeah, I uh, happen to live fairly near an anime store and manga store where I live. And I, I went there looking for Blue Lock merchandise, looking to get my first piece like ever and I saw this for sale in there and it was 27 pounds which doesn't sound all that bad really for a high quality anime figure like these but especially like this this is a beautiful figure and I would have thought yeah 27 quid that's that's really good but because I was already aware of Baiyi having worked with them in the past I decided before I just buy this in the high street 
Um, why don't I check on Baiyi, see how much it would cost to actually order it from Japan, and maybe I can even get more of the figures uh, brought across as a bundle instead of just buying one at a time. So, you know how much it cost to get this from Japan? It was about £12. <laughs> I thought 27 was reasonable for something like this. And then I go on Mercury within Baiyi and I see it for less than half of that. And this isn't even the cheapest one. <laughs> we'll get to that later. But genuinely, I got all six of these blue lock figures, not counting the shipping, for around about... 60 quid <laughs> of 65 something like that. I think that's kind of insane. I could have got I could have got two blue lock figures uh, from the UK for that. This guy is high up. He's doing a proper aerial pass. It's going to be absolutely levitating over the others. Let's compare him to to Rin for a second. Yeah, Barchera is just one upping the dude. He is in the air. But get a good good look at the blur, the yellow undercoats. Come on, you can focus. There we go. Yep, yeah, really, really happy with this one. I've got the set of three. I don't have anywhere uh, to place them that's on screen yet, but I'll keep working on it as we unpackage Isagi Yoichi, the main character. Because yeah, I, I've I've always <laughs> said out loud how much I. I love the service of Baiyi, but this is the most practical cost saving with them I've ever had. And I was already preparing an Inazuma 11 video that I wanted to work on. So really glad I could get some blue lock uh, in there. So the last thing I'll say about it before we just focus purely on the figures is one, the shipping is actually an even better process now. The shipping processes have been revised. And also, if you want to do a package consolidation, which is you buy lots of individual orders and then you put them into a big box and send them out all at once. That used to have a small fee attached to it, but that fee is now gone. Package consolidation is just part of the deal, which comes with cheaper shipping and they also remove the fees, the buying fees from uh, sites like Mercury and Rakuten as well, which were all already only about two quid before, but now they're zero pounds, so that is even better. And as we get Mr. Isagi out, my favourite character. This was the other one that I saw in the high street for 27 quid. And uh, I still very much wanted it. I just uh, managed to find the roundabout way of doing so. He's not very green, is he? Just Rin is kind of equally blue. So this guy just was forced to be green out of necessity. Um, but... This is the guy who learns all of the tricks of the trade throughout the season, develops as a football player from some random into a genuine talent, and I think his journey is just thoroughly incredible to watch. And again, getting this from Japan cost all of about £12. So the final thing I want to tell you about Baiyi is that, as ever, if you sign up to a Baiyi account through the link in my description, you can get a free coupon to use on your first order, which is worth 20,000 yen, or in British pounds, that's about 13 quid. Now, if you haven't got where I'm going with this, that means that my coupon in the video description, just for making an account, can basically get you one of these for free. <laughs> I don't want to undersell how big of a deal that is. You can just sign up in my video description and then you can basically already have the costs paid for at least one of these simply for getting out the gate. So at that point, why not just get a full set and then import them all at once, save on shipping, and you could just have as much fun with Blue Lock merch as I'm having right now. So let's get him attached to this stick. Where am I going? With oh, I'm right, other side of the leg. Here we are, just about jamming on. There we go, nice and secure. Isagi is kicking high, like this is this is uh, ground level. There we go. That, so we, how do we know to face it forward? If only it was like a Smash Brothers Amiibo where I've got the, 
the angles on the bottom so I know which way is forward. I can, of course, just check the box in all of its green glory. Apparently they want it facing forward just like this in the intro. But we've got two more left, so let's crack them open. Now, if I said that Isagi is my favourite character in this series despite being the main character, then his only real rival, someone who's not the protagonist, would be Mikage Reo, Mr. Purple himself. I'm honestly surprised that when there's only six figures in the series, Mikago, Mikage Reo was that high of a priority. Like, he got one before Baro and uh, Kunigami, who obviously have ones now, but even then, you could probably think of other characters that you might maybe expect to get one before him, but he has had a figure since the beginning of this range, and I'm so glad about it because I love him. The most overshadowed character in the story, but very much not overshadowed in the merchandise because he even has a Q posket as well, which, again, I saw in, <laughs> in my home city for over £20 when... Uh, the Q poskets on Bai and Mercury and Rakuten are even cheaper. You can get them for single digits. He's currently split in two halves. I'm not sure why he in particular um, has gone through middle body surgery, but we'll uh, we'll fish him out of there. And I guess I guess while I'm talking about costs, I kind of alluded to the fact that Rayo's maybe not the most popular character out of the six we've got here. Um, but that definitely reflected on the price because this guy was the single cheapest one to buy. But this, in currently two halves, Mikage Rayo figure. Oh, let's just assemble him. Go on, there we go. Uh, squash him on. Ah, this cost nine pounds. <laughs> so again, if he was for sale just on the high street, he would have probably been three times as much. I got this for nine pounds and it's my favorite dude I, I think he's like my, my favorite design and then Isagi is my favorite character but I do really love how continually overshadowed he gets he's he's the character I'm most excited um, to see in season two because I don't read ahead on the manga I've, I've I'm reading the manga up to the point of the anime I've got the first five volumes but I have not read um, beyond the finale of season one and I don't intend to I would like to watch that as an anime but I know that Rayo will be in season two and I have no idea what he'll do when he's in there so I'm so excited to find out and hope he still plays a role even if that role is continuing to be overshadowed however it works I just I just want him to be there okay so let's stick his foot in the top and I think he's doing the kickoff for us, is what I'm gathering from this pose. There we go, we've got him stamped in, so he needed to be split in half and needed the extra support, but that is still a complete figure of Mikage Reo. And again, uh, the low profile in comparison to the Bachira. Says a lot about the whole team dynamic really, doesn't it? But <laughs> this is fantastic. This is potentially my favorite yet just on account of of how it looks uh, I guess the stands may be the most noticeable if you if you care about that but when you're buying anime figures you, you have to kind of accept they're gonna have stands so some of the best nine quid that I've ever spent <laughs> the same can't exactly be said of this final figure but I hope you're looking forward to it anyway because this is Nagi Seishiro with the black collars if uh, Rayo is the cheapest figure at around £9, this one is the rarest. And by rare, I still mean he was only like £23, £24, but there weren't quite as many listings for him. So maybe the most uh, likely to go out of stock if you're trying to get all the blue lock figures. It's still not impossible. I'm sure if you look on the sites, you'll be able to find one just like I did. But um, this is the fan favourite character. Nagi is by far the most popular blue lock character from my perspective and getting his own OVA in the coming months which means basically a standalone film of his perspective of season one's events so that tells you all you need to know about Nagi's uh, popularity let's just pop his box down somewhere see if it falls off 
I've got that the wrong way around, but never mind. Um, yeah, so you, you could call this rare. Like, I also have a friend in Japan called Tatsunami who just buys these uh, in shops, and Nagi is one that she wants but hasn't been able to find, whereas the others uh, just kind of pop up here and there. But, where he, you know, he's a fan favorite character for a reason. He's got uh, swollen up his football at the moment. So this is the first and only character... Oh no, Berkshire has got one as well, but this is the second character then to actually have a football attached to their model and one of only three uh, of these figures to have a football with them in general, which is a... Uh, maybe th maybe that's why um, Nagi costs so much more. It's because of the, the football, right? And be very unwieldy with, <laughs> with unwrapping it. It's not exactly an important detail, but... Oh, I see. It, it, it is meant to be a separate item. <laughs> I did panic for a sec to see if I'd broken it, but no. The football has its own little notch on top. So there is the top of Nagi's foot. And you just slot the ball on top like that. And then he can do his ball control. We don't even see the rest of the guy yet, but you already know it's Nagi just from the fact he's controlling the ball on top of his foot. But let's get the rest of him attached. And this is Nagi in one of his famous ball control poses. Oh, let's get up close. Nagi's face looks like this. He zoom out and he's got the ball right on the tip of his toes. Number seven is on there. Nagi on the back. Oh, looking, looking very sharp on the back of his head. He, of course, best mate of Mikage Rayo before they kind of just go their own separate ways. Where did I put the stand again? There we go. Fully assembled and very, very airborne. I would have felt terrible if I had Rayo without Nagi. I wanted to reunite them. So here they are. Let's hold them side by side, in fact. Are they kind of meant to go together with poses? You could say that. I can't actually see my own recording screen that well at the moment, but... Um, He's doing the ball control, uh, Rayo is getting ready to command him down the pitch, you could certainly say. Let me have a rearrange and I'll try and get these all on screen at once. I have to be careful not to stop the recording as I take the camera off the tripod, is what I said, and then it immediately cut out, as you would expect, but here is everyone at once. Batcher are nice and high up so he can hide in the back. If you want to get some Blue Lock merchandise, it can be this, it can be any other bit of Blue Lock merch, it could be from a different anime entirely. But get yourself an account on Baiyi with the link in my description, you'll get a 20,000 yen voucher. So you can basically get at least one of these for free, which to me is incredible. And if you're a normal Inazuma 11 subscriber of the channel, everything else inside the box will be its own video very, very soon. So this has been Tale of the Toaster, and thank you for watching. I've got to find somewhere to put these in this giant mess of figures that already exist. But hey, I'm glad it could be these guys intercepting. Thank you to Baiyi for sponsoring and I will see you in another video.